Well, good morning, friends. It's Tracy and Violet. Violet just walked out to the kitchen from Nova Scotia Living, and it's about 6 o'clock in the morning. I got up around 5.30 today. I needed to sleep in, though. I really needed it. I was tired with a capital T. There she is. There she is. She's getting a buzz cut today. She's joining the army. No, you're not joining the army. You would if you could. I know you would. But she is getting her hair cut today and her nails done. So, her appointment, I have to drop her off at 9 o'clock. And I was supposed to go down and help somebody clean today. But if Evie comes over here today, I'm not sure if he's going to daycare today. The past two days he's been here because he had a bit of a cold. Not sick, like not fever or anything, just a bit of a wheeze. If he comes over here today, I'm not going to go. But if he is well enough to go to daycare, I don't know. Then I'll go down. I'll drop her off first. I'll drop my donation stuff off. I was just reading some comments. I need to have a snort of this coffee. Just about me decluttering my teacups. Yeah. That was a roller coaster yesterday. Wouldn't you say if you watch that anyways, but I got through it and I'm glad I did. I still have a lot of teacups. I still have a lot. Most of the ones that I'm donating are ones that I've never really seen before. I did take some out of them that wanted to come and stay with us. And uh, a lot of the comments were like, you could try to sell them and uh, why not box them up for the kids when they're older. And that's they're both really good ideas. One, I don't have the time or interest in trying to sell them. I'd rather rehome them and somebody else find joy from them. That's more rewarding to me <laughs> and less time consuming. Uh, and for my kids, I am going to give them teacups. I am. I'm going to give them my favorite teacups, not just ones that they're teacups to give them away. They're going to get the ones that we use, that we have special memories with. Um, so I'm not worried about about that, the rest of my girls are still little. Medea has no interest really in that. I will make sure she gets teacups if she wants teacups, but right now she's going through a phase in her life that everything, you know, she's moving. She's, yeah, setting up shop somewhere else. It's all good. She's only gonna be like six minutes from my brother, so that's great. If you if you watch the past couple of videos, my eldest daughter, Medea, she's moving to Alberta which is almost on the other side of Canada, which I don't know how long it would take to drive there. A week, maybe? Or an airplane, uh, probably like eight hours on, an, on a plane or something. I don't know. <clears throat> but it's a long ways away. My brother's lived there for years. Him and his wife, they're both from here. Love them so much. And they have two kids, but they're like teenagers. But still, it'll be so good that she's close with somebody. And I was reading my friend Medi Cal. Hey, girl. She's from Calgary. And, yeah, you never know. I might come a-knocking and pulling up, laying on your Chesterfield. <laughs> she, she commented to say, oh, if you ever go to Calgary or whatever, you know. Anyways, thanks, sister. Thank you. Thank you. You never know. We might have, sit down and have a cup of a cup of together. Yes, absolutely. If I'm out that way, I love adventuring. When I'm home, I don't seem like I am. I'm kind of a stumble bum around here. But when I am up and out, not that I want to leave my family, but the little bit of traveling that I have done in my life, I am on the go. So much so, my husband's like this. He had fun when we went to Mexico. He's like, why can't we just do nothing? I'm like, well, you can do nothing, but I want to get up and go and do stuff, you know. So, anyways, so if I fly out to visit Medea and Evie sometime and Cody, uh, I'm going adventuring and I'm taking Evie with me. Yes, I am. We're going hopping around Red Deer. Yeah. Uh, maybe Calgary, maybe Edmonton. I don't know. But I guess Calgary... Is about an hour away from Red Deer, and Edmonton is an hour the other way away from Red Deer. And I know the price of 
cost of living out there is high, the cost of living here in Nova Scotia is pretty high too. Um, her plan was to stay around here. And she was accepted in school and everything like that, but there's such a housing crisis here in Nova Scotia. There is a major housing crisis for renters, for apartments and stuff. For a crappy two-bedroom apartment, that could be like $1,500. Um, for the apartment she's getting out there, it's two-bedroom, two-bathroom, a laundry room, a parking spot. I forget, it's humongous. Like, it blew my mind. It's like 1200 and I'm just like, that's better than here, you know? When she was li well, she's still living in the house that we have. Um, we have another house, and that's where she's living. She didn't have to pay that price at all, but where she was going to go to school, she couldn't live there. It was too far away. Still in the province, but anyways, long story short, they decided to move out there, and Cody lived out there for years, years. So he knows the area. He has friends. He already had a job before he went back. And she can still keep her job that she has now because she works from home. So they're just branching out, branching out. So I don't know why I went on this, but in regards to teacups, yes, Madea will get teacups when she's set up and wants a teacup. Evie will get a teacup if he wants a teacup, a setup for a teacup. So... The teacups my kids are going to get are going to be the ones, the ones that I love the most. Absolutely. So anyways, I'm going to get the kids up here shortly, but I am going to have my coffee and uh, we're going to play with some teapots today. I have quite a soft spot for teapots. Yeah. Yeah. The funkier, the uglier, the better for me. I like fancy ones, and I like cute ones too, but they're only for certain occasions. Funky ones you can use any time of the... Any time! So, anyways, I'll be back. Get going, Violet. I know something got into that bag. It wasn't bad. Come on, come out here. Ah, coming out to catch the bus. She's not Oh, <laughs> she's not running around. Well, she might. She might. I'm going over to my assume my position on the picnic table. Oh, I forgot that frying pan out here yesterday with the compost. <laughs> I emptied the compost out, out of it and left the frying pan here. Oh, <laughs> I'll have to bring that in. Yeah. <laughs> you do. You do. Oh, these guys just had those little muffins I got at the store yesterday. Yeah. Today. Yeah, they're just little. What are you doing, Violet? Blow off some steam. She'll have fun at the groomers because they have another dog there and a big fenced-in yard, and they run around for a while before she goes for a haircut. I think the dog's name's Harvey. Did you get a picture? I don't know. I don't like to film at other people's houses. I mean, like, not film, but could you ask if you could Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I heard a snap. I heard a snap. Yeah. Yep. All right, the bus is here. All right, there they go. Oh, you're twisting me around, Violet. Wiener. We're going to go in and wake up Mally. I'll see if she wants to go in with me. If not, I'll go in a little earlier so I can go drop all that stuff off that I have stuffed in the van. Yeah, if you missed yesterday, I have three garbage bags of toys, I think a couple things of clothes, a diaper box full of books, and four or five boxes of teacups. So hopefully they take it all. Ooh. So We'll see. All right, friends. Well, we're in town. I have Evie and I have Violet. And we just dropped off a van load of stuff to Bethany Bargain Bin. And, yeah, I heard a little bit, but I'm happy. It's bittersweet because I know all that stuff will go to good homes, toys for people to play with, teacups for people to dance with. And yeah, so anyways, now we're going to go uh, get some gas and drop Violet off for her hair appointment.
All right, guys, we're home. I got Evie set up. I put a load of laundry in before I left, so now I got some wet towels to hang up. Then we're gonna start working with those teapots. Tea, anyone? Anyone for tea? Yeah, look at my pretty pretties. Yeah, yeah. Well, the ones I know for sure I'm keeping, but I wanted to get out just to appreciate and I want to wash and put in the drawers if I can, except for the teapots. I'm going to put them up on the shelf. I should show you if you didn't see my video yesterday, like when I did all my teacups. I still have an abundance but these are the ones that jumped out to me I have all the fairies and witches living in them and have stories to tell I still have lots of space down there but I have lots of teacups back there yes but I'm gonna reserve this shelf there's a couple of teacups up there and that platter I don't know if I'll leave it there. I just wanted to get it out of the way for teapots. And I washed. Uh, oh, just a minute. Washed all the rose garden uh, dishes. I know this isn't the most ideal way, but I'm going to use them if they're down here instead of up in the attic. They're washed and clean. I'll wash them again before we use them. And... The kids don't get into these drawers, so they're all in here, except for that platter that matches the design. I'm on the hunt now for a teapot. I haven't looked online. I don't know if this is a fancy pattern or not, but I'd like to have a teapot that matches this so we can have a full-on grand scale tea party, I don't know, luncheon kind of thing with all of this. So anyways, so whatever dishes... I can fit in here that's empty the one on the bottom's empty that's what I'm gonna do so back to the teapots there were some <coughs> teacups in amongst this this too but look at these just look at it yeah Yeah. So, I've had these ones for years and years and years. I love them. They remind me of Alice in Wonderland. They're staying for sure. Love them. Um, this one we've had for years. I think my sister-in-law gave it to the girls when they were little for tea parties and stuff. And we use this one. So, this one's staying. We used this for the Easter tea party not too long ago. And this one for the tea party not too long ago. Um... There's a lot, like, Christmas or winter ones. That's pretty cool. And it comes off there. Beautiful. I love the swirl. Another snowman one. Cute. I've used this one before. It has, like, farm animals on it. A Christmas one. Um, a lot of these teapots, like the Christmas oh, no. ones those ones this one actually that one and that one came I bought like a box of teapots from a lady and I don't know there was 10 teapots in it 
sight unseen. And that's what the kind of teapots what that are in there. Christmas right there, see the snowman? Oh, there's another Christmas one. Oh, another Christmas one, yeah. yeah. Right there. Yeah. Very cute. Mm. So, for sure, I'm keeping this one, this one, this one. I've had this one for just as long as I can remember. I love it. Now, I don't know that much about teapots. Like, is this for tea or is it for coffee? I don't know, but I like it. Don't touch, Abby. Don't touch. Don't touch. Yes, don't touch, honey. That's a teacup. Skedaddle. Yeah, this is Nova Scotia tartan. Okay, back off, bub. That's the tartan for Nova Scotia. And we used this teapot, uh, tea set, a couple of years ago. It was on Mom's birthday. She was an angel, but we went out to the lighthouse. And I brought all this, and we had a tea party picnic out there. Nova Scotia at the lighthouse on the cliffs by the ocean. It was fun. But I want to keep these. Unfortunately, this little sugar bowl... Is broken. I might glue it back together. We'll see. Um, this one I've had for a long time, and it comes with a creamer and sugar bowl. This was Mom's. These were in that box. They're cute. I don't think they're real teapots. Like I think that they're probably decoration. Don't know. Um, and this gold one. I'm keeping for sure. So I'm keeping quite a lot of them still. But I want to give them a wash and get them situated down here because I don't want to keep any of my beauties up in the attic anymore. I want to keep what I use, what I love, down here at my fingertips. There's no sense in squirreling it away for a day that might never come and be lost and forgotten about. So I need to go through this. I just noticed this one is one from that lot, the Keebler Elves. Is not maybe not the T the Tetley elves I don't know something like that so yeah but look at these little teacups they were in amongst this one is just cute as a button I absolutely love it very very nice I'm keeping this beauty for sure it's an old lady that celebrated Christmas all year round is what this teacup saying to me Queen Anne, Fine Bone China, England. I love it. Love it. It would be so cool to have a whole tea set of that. Um, I have one of this, so she will be rehomed. This one is beautiful. And then these little ones, they're like little miniature ones. I'm going to wash, but they're going to go in a little basket with other little ones that I have for the kids to, like Misha, I have in mind because she likes to do stuff like this. They're little. I'm not going to put those up in my china cabinet. And a couple of fancy dishes. I don't know if they are anything. Oh, well, that one matches that one. So, and then there's two little tops. I don't know if I'm missing a box up in the attic. I might hold those for a little bit until I do another sweep of the attic up there. And this little thing, which matches that. I think it's more decorative than useful. I don't know. But there's, you know, a couple of rooster, chicken, yeah, rooster teapots. And they're cute, but it'd be like for a country kitchen kind of thing is what I'm thinking. I don't know. It's not tickling my fancy. They are very cute, and I think of my friends with their beautiful family member chickens would use teapots like that. <laughs> I love this, how it's weaved up at the top. That was in that lot of teapots. So I need to carefully go through these. This I bought from a yard sale. I thought it was cool. It's not very big though, but it's cool. So yeah, yeah, this is what I gotta go through. I've had this uh, Christmas one, well, you know, the holly berry one. And I, there's another Christmas one over here. This one's piquing my interest more than the other one, so I'll keep one, maybe. And these are really cute and sweet. I just don't know if I'll keep all of these 
I say Christmas, but Snowman won. I got three of those. I don't know. I like the wonky, wacky ones. Like, I like that, and that, and these Whackers Crackers ones, those ones. I like this. It's plain and simple and hard. I like that. But then I like the fancy ones, too, like this. Like the delicate, real fancy ones. So, how many teapots? How many teapots? I'd rather not keep ones that don't really pique my interest, even though I like them. Because I might come across a teapot someday in my life journey that really sparks something in me. And then I'd just be cluttering up my shelf again. So... I'd rather have space available for something that does spark something in me. If that makes any sense. Evie's out there making a right old mess, but that's okay. So am I. Alright, this is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Because I see some of them I'm like, I'd never use them, but it'd be fun for the kids to use them. You know, yeah, those are all the keep ones, and I'm still not done. I might only end up rehoming two or three. Yeah, it's tricky. It's tricky. Like this is really cute. <laughs> mm. Very cute. Because there's a little teapot in the belly. Let me take the head off. I'm thinking, oh, I could make a hot chocolate for the kids. Somebody that's homesick or something. And then the bottom, the bum of it, is like a cup. I'm like, that would be cool. But would I do it? Maybe. Would I do it all the time? Probably not. But somebody might use that as a Christmas decoration. So it's tricky. Tricky, tricky. Same with that other other one here. Comes when it's sitting on a plate that matches. But, you know. Adorable. Would I use it? I don't know. I don't know. But I'll keep mulling this over in my mind. All right. I was thinking I'd keep this one to go with those little teacups. But I already have a little teapot, so I don't need to do that, Tracy. I don't need to do that. And I do have one snowman teapot down there, that dark blue one. So I don't need to keep these other ones, whereas I think somebody else would appreciate them more. I am keeping these little mugs, or teacups. I'm rehoming that one, but I think it's these teapots that will find homes that fit them better than my home. I think. Oh, my husband's upstairs sneezing. So I'm going to pack these away. It's I, I know some of you are like, what? Don't get rid of that one. But I just know, I know in my heart that they're not my style. Or not that one's really cute but I already have some over here that swirly one down there like soft white ice cream you know vanilla ice cream yeah yeah so yeah I need to put these in a box All right, I just set up my wash station. I just put those little teacups in there. I'm gonna wash, wash, rinse, dry. So I'm gonna wash all of those.
Oh, my back. That's all I can say about that one. But they're washed. I didn't wash the little salt and pepper shakers. I'll wipe them down on the outside. I just didn't want to get them all wet and funky, funky. But done. I had to rinse or change the rinse water a few times because it got just as soapy as the dishwater. Now, these weren't really dirty. Just, you know, they've been sitting so dusty or whatever. But I just wanted to give them a quick polish, wash, bath. And now they're singing, singing in the high praises. But I'm going to let them sit here for a while. Um, out here. That's the donation. When I go get Violet, I might spin into town. If not, I'll do it tomorrow to drop those off. So, we'll see. But now, now I'm going to sit down for a little break. Alright, it's 10.37. I just emptied those water things. I'm having my second cup of coffee of the day. And I'm going to sit down and kick my feet up. Oh. Alright guys, it's about 10 after 11. I'm going into town. Miley has a belly ache, so I'm going to go pick her up. I put those teapots in the van. I'm going to drop those off. And I'm still waiting on a call from Violet's hairdresser. So hopefully she'll call while I'm out. I mean, it's all on the way anyways. She's about... I don't know, 10 minutes from our house. So even if I get back with Manly, I can always spin to go get Violet. But it would just be good if she'd call while I was out anyways. So anyways, I left Evie here with Marquise. And um, I'm going to listen to my book on the way in. So I'll be back. Back. Look at Violet. Violet, look how skinny your face is. I don't usually get her face shaved like that. Oh, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. You look like half the size, but it's a skinny little face. I usually leave it a little bit long, but let me turn you around. Wanted to get her a little extra shorter than usual. I mean, that's a normal poodle shaved face. It's just, I don't know. I find some poodles look snooty and they're not snooty dogs at all. They really are not. They're goofballs is what they are. You're just a big fat goofball. Yes, you are. <laughs> it was so pretty. I just gave her a treat too. And um, anyways, just because it's spring, her snout would get kind of muddy. Her feet would get muddy. I got her feet shaved too. Like um, just to get it nice and short. She was like, I'm not going to shave her, shave her. I said, no. She was like, she'll look pink because it'll be down to her skin. I said, no, but nice and short. So it'll last a little while. Um, I'll get another haircut the beginning of July or something like that. But now we can see your beautiful mug. Your beautiful mug. <laughs> so I need to start working with those teapots again. Trying to position those up in the shelf. And I need to get this house in order because it's kind of messy. Kind of messy. I mean, it's not bad. There's a bunch of toys out here on the floor. I left Evie all those toys. But he's playing with those, so... I won't bother with that, but I want to do something for supper. There's just a smidge roast uh, beef stew left, but I think I'm going to make a goulash or something. The kids haven't had that in a while. But I'm going to try to... Let me turn you around again. I'm going to start working with this stuff and getting it positioned up there. I'm not going to be able to dis display them all. I know some of you said I should get that wall knocked out and have another cabinet there, but I don't think I'll do that. I like the house the way it is. It's really 180 plus years old and I just it's beautiful and yeah but doesn't this look nice though doesn't it look all shiny and nice and I'll have some teapots there but then there'll be teapots hidden but knowing what I have and how much I have I'll be able to maintain it and use it and Violet thinks it's beautiful too but um anyways yeah Let's start working. All right, so I got my teapots all put away. Some are over there. Some are over there. There's one there. There's one there. So, yes, Nova Scotia front and center, of course. So, on this top drawer, since that Nova Scotia teapot, it's like a set. I put all the teacups here and the plates and the pepper shakers, salt and pepper and stuff. Same with the gold 
set. These are a little creamer and sugar bowl. It's a tartan, Scottish tartan, and a tea pot cover. And those dishes, um, there's the, the one down at the bottom that's empty. And I'm going to put the creamer and sugar bowl from that other funky set down there because I don't have any, I don't want to jam pack these. You know, jam, I don't want stuff on top of stuff on top of stuff. So I'll put um, these down there. And I might end up putting that little basket. I'll show you after. I'll show you after. So, yeah, let me get that going. All right, so down here at the bottom is the cream and sugar set. These are those little saucers that go with these little teacups. I ended up keeping that fancy dish, but gave away the other wonky one. Um, and these are the little ones that from yesterday. They're all matching teacups and sets, uh, saucers that I don't mind the kids playing with these at all, but they need to ask before they play with these beauties. Yeah, so there. There. Great, now I gotta clean up. Great. So I swept the floor, I wiped the table off. This is that tub that had all those. I'll get you something in just a minute, bub. Okay. Um, this is about all I'm going to do in here today. This is not staying here, but I'm not going to move it today. I'm going to go out and scramble up some hamburgers, what I'm going to do. All right, friends. Well, I had to take, make some room on my phone for you more video. Pot of water with some salt in it. It's going to make goulash, but I have three packages of opened spaghetti, so I'm going to use up those noodles. Like some of them are out of each package, so... I'm going to use it up all. There's two packs of hamburger in here. It might help if I turn it on. And we're just going to make a giant pot of spaghetti and I'm going to mix it all together. Sometimes I do that, sometimes I don't. But I am today. So, I'm just this isn't one of my deep pans. I don't know where it is, so it might be out in the porch. So, this will work. Just break it up a bit. Wait for it to sizzle. I'm just going to season this straight up. Onion powder, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Stuff like that. Oh, what is this? Onion powder. Whoop. What? Oh, it probably needs the charger. Just a minute. That was onion powder. This is garlic powder. There's a lot of meat here, so it's taking a lot of seasoning. I'll throw some Lowry's up in here. Seasoning salt. And a whack of black pepper. eat this. I'm not going to put onions and all that stuff in it. They'll just try to eat around it if I do. Sometimes I do that or mushrooms and grind it up like mush in the food processor and add it and then they eat it because they don't know it. They don't see it. But I'm not doing that today. I've done quite a bit of stuff today. Oh, I didn't end up dropping those teapots off today. They're still in the van. It's just I got a message from Heather. It's the lady that cut Violet's hair while I was on my way to get Mally. And just said, she's very nice. I suppose I could have still dropped them, but she was like, oh, Violet can be picked up any time now. And I said, okay, I'll be there soon. So I just thought, I'll go get Mally first, because I already had just turned off the highway. And then we'll go right out and get Violet, and I'll drop that stuff off tomorrow morning. So it's in the van anyways. It's out of, out of here in the van. And they take donations tomorrow too, so that's good. is not moving fast enough for me. So anyways, I'll bring you back in a bit. I forget if this was medium ground beef. If it's greasy, I'll strain it. If it's extra lean, I won't have to. But of course, it was 50% off, so bonus. And we'll have a giant pot of spaghetti. So yeah, 
I need to go down to the basement and get some tomato sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. I'll be back. All right, things have been coming along. That water's bubbling now. I haven't put the noodles in yet. I'm just about to. This hamburger's almost done. So, which side is open? What, honey? You're picking up the trucks? I don't know. I don't know what you're saying, Turkey. You just did? No, I just up Well, you can pick them up if you want to. Sure, go clean up the room. I'll give you a treat if you do. There. And then all of these will go in the recycle. So that's exciting. I'll get it on just a second, uh, Evie. My husband's outside barbecuing steak, I think, or chicken, I don't know, something. He's outside barbecuing. So, I had more spaghetti, I'd put some more in just because we have a lot of hamburger, but that's alright. Well, you'll have to hold your horses, Kadiddle Hopper. Kadiddle Hopper. The old dipstick. So, yeah, I am going to end up straining this um, fat off of here. I'll just strain it into a bowl, not let it go right down the drain. Evie, be careful of those lids there. There's sauce on them. Open two cans. I got 50% off, of course, before. I got a bunch of them. Unico garlic pasta sauce. That's what I'm using. And I have two other. I have a whole case of this down in the basement. No name, original. Well mm. Regular $1.99. So I paid a dollar for this. Um, $12 a case. There's no taxes on groceries here. So, it's worth it. But I only open two because I don't know how much I'll need. I'm just going to do this simple style. I'll wait till the noodles are done. I'll strain the fat off this. I'll mix the noodles and hamburger together and vary it. And I'll add two cans of pasta sauce and a can of tomato soup I have opened over there. And if I need more sauce, I'll open another sauce. And that's going to be it. It's quarter after one. Spaghetti takes two shakes of a lamb's tail to make. Goulash, tacos, all of that. But the longest part of cooking for spaghetti is the noodles. I don't find the hamburger takes no time at all. Okay, Abby. Give her some space. I think Abby's driving Violet a little crazy. She keeps running away from her. But she's laying right here beside me now. <laughs> but I have to say, she's so good with kids. Like, she doesn't ever snap or anything like that. I think that's a poodle trait anyways. Like, they're very good family dogs. I think any dog is a good family dog, really. But you just need to teach them. So... He is full of beans and wieners today. I'm talking heavy. Um, Medea doesn't work tomorrow, I don't think so. He won't be here tomorrow, whether he goes to daycare or not. Like I don't, it's not acting sick at all. He just has a little bit of a rasp. He could probably go to school, but that's that's in her field. That's at her table. Whatever she wants to do. Um. But at least he's not, he's never been lethargic or, you know, fever or anything like that. He's just, okay, Evie, turn it down. Extremely playful. So I'm going to get a strainer and strain this and I'll be back. All right, I strained the hamburger. The burner's off. I'm just waiting on those noodles and then we'll move forward. Does it smell good, Violet? Oh, i got to clean my stove. Look at that. Sheesh. Oh, I just strained that. Those noodles are still sitting in the strainer. But Evie and I just had a race to clean up those toys. And he beat me. Didn't ya? You beat me, Violet. Don't even think about it. Uh, yep, yeah, the mess is all cleaned up. Alright, I'm just going to put those noodles back in the pot. 
before they start cooling and sticking together. I'll just use the same strainer as I used to strain that hamburger so there was a little bit of grease residue on it, but that's all right. No big deal. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing or some hamburger grease. Yeah, so this isn't a giant pot. I might hold on a little bit of that hamburger and I'll have some with some of the greens. Well, I actually have a freezer meal. Some, I still have three freezer meals. I took out of the deep freezer last night or yesterday. Um, salsa chicken and zucchini noodles and stuff. I don't mind it being extra meaty right now. I'll save that little bit. You can't see. I don't know whether you want to see. I'll see if I can bring you over and you can look down into the pot like those fancy people do sometimes. Oh, Violet, I stepped on your tail. Beach, I'm sorry. You don't got much junk in your trunk now and I can't feel you from a little puff. Now you can kind of see. Now you can kind of see. Natalie's going to here coming downstairs. Why are you mixing it together? Because I want to mix it together. How's your belly now? It's okay. Uh, I know she looks like a different dog, but she's still beautiful. Still beautiful. I like to try to get it all out of the can. much as I can, can. Ooh, oh, and there's Parmesan cheese right here on the counter. I didn't even get it out. Somebody must have used it yesterday. Who, were you using Parmesan cheese yesterday? I don't know. I haven't the foggiest. Maybe it was dad. Maybe. Oh, yeah, that's probably what it was. I don't know why I add this, but I do. You're so tiny. Your face is so tiny. Don't know. So we'll try to mix this up as much as we can. And then I need more sauce. I don't like a soupy spaghetti, but I don't like a dry one either. Spaghetti. Spickety. Yes, I mixed it together. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say something about it. No, I like when the spaghetti is mixed together. Do you? Uh, oh, and I'm ticked off today, you guys. My step counter watch thing isn't working. I charged it yesterday and put it on and it did my steps but it was dead again this morning and usually I can go a couple days without charging it so I plugged it in as soon as I got up in the morning and it's dying as soon as I turn it on again so I know it wasn't a big fancy one but for goodness sakes I'm a little lost not counting my steps I feel like I haven't gotten any steps today even though I know I would have because of all the stuff I've been doing so I might have to invest into another one I'm going to charge that all day long today. It doesn't usually, it takes, you know, a half hour to charge that watch. It really did. It does. It doesn't take long. But I'm going to leave, leave it charging. And I'll try it again tomorrow. If it does that again. Oh, no. I'm going to give it a stern talking to. Now, there's a chunk that doesn't have any sauce. I might have to add a little more sauce. Do you think, Mo? Yes. We need a little bit. Yeah, the can opener's there on the table. Because once this, I mean, the noodles are going to soak up some of this sauce, too. So. Dump her in. Here, I'll 
don't see it there. Oh my gosh, Martha, I couldn't see her. She's stealthy, silent, and sneaks up behind you, doesn't she? Come here. This should do it. Yeah. This is still steaming hot, so that will warm the sauce. Sometimes I put the sauce in with the meat and warm the sauce up that way, but I'm taking the shortcut today. I did not. She asked if I add turmeric to it. I'm going to add some of this right to it. Oh boy. A good mix and it's 133 so hip hip hooray I won't have to worry about feeding all these young ones when they get home because they're always ravenous and biting each other's arms off I lost three arms I know Nally's lost three arms she said and they keep growing back thank goodness Come here. See, there's lots of meat in here. I just need to try to incorporate it. I'll just make sure when I scoop it out for the kids, it's more evenly distributed. So, there's supper. Oh, it's 228. Violet's here under the desk. Evie's over there playing on that mat with the monster trucks. I was just unloading my phone and starting to edit a little bit before the kids got home, and the program friggin' shut down. So, I don't know if it saved what I was doing or not. I've already Hi. had two... Hi. Hi. Um, Excuse me. Certainly. I forget what I was going to say, for goodness sakes. Oh, yeah. I've already had two coffees today, but I'm getting sleepy. I might have another one. I don't generally have three coffees in a day. We'll see. But at least supper's done. And yeah. Anyways, I still have about 15 before the kids get home. I'll see if it saved my work. I hope so. The kids just got home and Violet ran downstairs and they're freaking out by her haircut. I meant to try to catch them, but they're like, oh my goodness. That's not even Violet. Who's that? I mean, they know it's her, but. It's funny listening to them. Cute. Kids. Oh gosh. What do you think of her haircut? I told you. <laughs> it's not. Can Evie come outside with us? Uh, well, if you get his boots and jacket on. Oh. Oh, all the kids went outside with Violet. I get a kick out of her. This is some, uh, Mazai took this to school, but some, uh, her drawings. She draws these anime characters. She's very good. And she's a person that can draw live looking hands and eyes. Like, these are obviously cartoon things, but she takes the time to look up tutorials and practices and practices and practices and practices until she gets it right. If I think of it, I'll try to show you one sometime. Where is some of the, like, yeah, Mally's the painter. Mazai is like the drawer, is that what you would say? She's an artiste. All right, I just brought out a basket, laundry, got some more wet towels to hang up. My sister-in-law's here. I had a third coffee. The kids have, are eating their supper, and Evie's almost asleep on the Chesterfield, so we good, we good. All right, friends, well, my sister-in-law's still here. I'm going to go down and visit Violet, for heaven's sakes. She has to be trying to race me up the steps. I'm going to set you guys to unload on my computer, so after we're done our visit, I can come up and edit. So I'm going to end this video now. I plan on filming tomorrow, too. I'm glad I went through my teapots, and I'm sure the ones that I'm rehoming will go to good homes that will love and appreciate them and get the attention they deserve. So, but every time I walk past my, I say trina cabinets, like, I don't know what to call it. I have to make up a nice creative name for it. 
I don't know. Um, in my dining room where my teacups and teapots are. It makes me smile because it's all bling, shiny and sparkly and they all look like they're smiling at me and happy and everything. So I'm pleased with that. Really pleased with that. So, And the kids like the spaghetti. Maze ate two plates. I said, don't go upstairs and go to sleep. <laughs> he went upstairs. I don't know if he's asleep or not, but spaghetti any pasta dish is always a big hit and they've ate beef stew two days in a row but a spaghetti was called for and that's good he used up my spaghetti noodles in that hamburger there's still some of the spaghetti left though I might put that in their lunches actually I could put it in a thermos heat it up in the morning and put it in a thermos so we'll see we'll see but thanks for hanging out with me today tomorrow's gonna be another busy day I gotta pick another project to do I want to start taking more stuff down from the attic, but I'd really like to do that stairwell going down the basement. And I still haven't done Misha and Mally's room. I think I'm going to put that on the back burner until next week because not this weekend coming up, but the weekend after is when Mally will have her friends over for a birthday sleepover. And that way I can really downsize their rooms, minimalize to some degree their rooms so anyways yeah we'll we'll do something tomorrow oh well actually in the morning I'm actually going down to Beulah's house I was going to go down to Beulah's house today I am going tomorrow morning Violet and I so we'll see what we can do tomorrow because I'm going to help clean somebody else's mess so yeah well I'll bring you guys along anyways so with that I'm going to say Oh, peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay, too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, Okay, guys. Well, I'm going to relax. I'm going to have a shower after. Get in some nice, comfy clothes. Have a good evening. I can feel it. I can feel it right down to the soles of my feet. Yes, I do. Okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.